And spooky Sunday, we're watching more. Tess said, na, 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 May I got the moves? That's me. You know, you, you, you recognize this picture, right? This one is top 10 scary ghost videos to ruin your sleepy time. Oh god, I really need EP time now. <laughs> I need EP time now, I'm very EP, I didn't EP very well. Ready, let's go, let's go. Let's go! Ready! Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. Lurking in the woods. Lurking Justin Fender's TikTok woods. account is dedicated to cars, bikes, do-it-yourself projects, and his family. Absolutely nothing paranormal or supernatural. Cute. However, three months ago, Justin bought himself a 2002 Nissan Xterra and filmed himself as he installed brand new reverse lights. Today I'm putting some rear LED lights on my Nissan Xterra. These are the flush mount LEDs I bought off of- I'm, a, I'm like, it's in the middle of the day. He's just setting up his stuff. For his car if there's something creepy i think stuff that happens in the middle of the day is so fucking scary bro ebay they're pretty cheap the lights are installed it's so scary. i'm gonna take them back out and paint the bumper why are they so light though why does he need such bright lights in the back so one of justin's viewers asks how well the reverse lights work at night Welcome. and justin drives out into the dark woods near a lake in north oh so he can he can if he's in the dark and he wants to drive backwards and he doesn't see oh so you can like you know like for example he parks somewhere like at the forest and it's dark and he needs to reverse but he might drive into a tree so he puts those on and then he can see yeah that makes sense Carolina to show just how bright the lights are. His TikTok viewers are shocked when the reverse lights illuminate something downright chilling. Uh oh. The lights are definitely functional, but unfortunately, I live in a city and there are street lights everywhere. But I can find a place to go test them. Let's go. Okay, I found some really dark woods. I just put some tinfoil. He's just in a void. <laughs> like the camera cut, and he's just in a void, and he's like, I found a really dark woods. <laughs> It's really dark out here. <laughs> yeah, we can tell. It's very dark. Over the reverse lights. So I'm going to show you what the stock reverse lights look like, and then I'm going to uncover them and show you what the added reverse lights look like. Okay, these are the stock reverse lights. There's nothing. It's, it's literally devoid. can't see anything. And yes. these are the ones I just installed. Welcome. And these are the ones I just installed. Look how friggin' bright that is. This is amazing. Mm, yeah, so that's these nice. are not just for looks. Did you see it? As Justin turns Did on the lights, an it? arm wrapped around a tree can be seen sliding its way Hell. slowly out of sight. Holy. After many comments from freaked out viewers, Justin finally sees the arm and decides to go back to investigate during me. the day. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving work. Two blocks that way is where the arm was. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, this road goes down to the lake, which is right there in a public boat landing. This is where my truck was backed in. Well, it's actually a path, and that is the tree yeah. with the stickling. Yeah. It's the same. I can no. see the little thing on the floor here, too. Welcome. As you can see, people illegally dump stuff out here all the time. That's so sad. Mostly that trash, do but that. a lot of animal carcasses, too. And this is the tree. And here we are behind the tree. That's so wild. Exterior was Going back there so I'm wild. about 5'10". I'm not a very superstitious person, so you're not going to get much out of me. I just think, you know, if anything, you know, somebody back here. Now, even after all of that, Justin still believes the arm simply could have belonged to someone that happened to be out in the dark woods. That's high up. That's high up. Wait, look. That's where my exterior look. was back then. I'm about 5'10". That arm was like right underneath here. It was so high up. 10. I'm not a very superstitious person, so you're not going to get much out of me. I was I so think, high you know, up on anything, the tree. You know, somebody back here? 
Now, even after all of that, Justin still believes the arm simply could have belonged to someone that happened to be out in the dark woods. It was literally like when it, w it w was wrapped around right up top here, like right on, like really high up. Like what the? But That's so what do weird. you think? Could it be a creature, a ghost, or perhaps even creepier? Is it Super just someone person. hiding in the dark woods? That's crazy. Let me know down in the comments. Cries from beyond. This next video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer, Peter Canova. Hi, Peter. Peter explains in his email that his friend was remodeling a house in Des Moines, Iowa that had been abandoned Hi. for over 10 years. Iowa. Peter's friend shared a chilling video that was- What is Iowa known for? <laughs> I keep asking about every state until I know the states. Not a real state? Oh. Slipknot? Okay, I'll take Courted that. By That's a tile a good one. installer named Javier. Corn? Mmm. I love corn, actually. Corn is very yummy. Desde hace rato vengo escuchando un, un llanto como de niño. Oigan. Pero el pedo es de que aquí en la casa es. Cat, maybe? Cats do sound eerily like children. Like, it's crazy how close they sound sometimes. ¿Está? Pues, no hay. Maybe cat in a wall or something. Welcome! Maybe cat in a wall and stuck and that's why it's crying like that. Están, están todos los cuartos vacíos. Y me da miedo ir al basement, pero... I could... Verga, a ver, deja... Deja checar. Could totally be no I've heard cats that sound so much like babies, it's insane. Actually insane. Okay, now it's starting to sound like a child. Okay, now it's starting- okay, now it's starting to sound like a- Yeah, now it's- yeah, that's a child now. If it goes for too long, cats don't hold it for that long. You know, they, they do a sound like a little bit and then a little bit again. They don't do it for that long, like at once. I don't like this at all. The loud all. cries of a child can be heard coming from the basement. I don't Javier like this. Javier checks every room but finds no one. He sprinted. He was out. Suddenly there's loud bang from somewhere and Javier makes a run for it. Javier refuses to ever return to the house again. Burn a house? Yes. He was so Before quick. We move on to the next video, he if you sprinted. see anything that you think should be included in the top so 5, quick. contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Oh dear. He was flying up those stairs. <laughs> those sta he just flew. He flew up those stairs. It was amazing. Terence Leonio oh from Windsor, Ontario, Canada often goes out into the woods to record himself overtone singing Shika for TikTok Shika and Shika YouTube. Nuka, 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 One day he decides to stream live, and as he starts to sing, he seems to capture the attention of a passing deer. Pretty sure he was looking for where the sound was coming from, but I stopped and started talking and now he's confused. Alright. Oh. How does he do that? Holy shit! 
How's that even possible? Holy fucking! I'm amazed. Man is a whole didgeridoo. He is insane. He's insane. He's a deer whisperer. <laughs> yes. What is back there? And there's the deer. But did you see it? Terrence seems to have caught the attention of something else lurking in the woods. Several strange, slim figures seem to be hiding in the trees behind the deer. Terrence's TikTok viewers believe the mysterious creatures could be cryptids, Sasquatch, or even skinwalkers. No, they just really liked his singing. They were nice. I think Terrence's singing could have summoned from the deep Canadian woods. Yeah, it's fans. What come? A doorway. This next bizarre cl A doorway. Why does it sound so mundane? It's like, a door. That's it. A door. <laughs> Clip comes from a small YouTube channel that is not even necessarily dedicated to ghost hunting or the supernatural. Partners Rain and Jenna post random videos to their personal channel, Sinister RP. I mean, These so videos range from art and music spooky, to their own coded. personal passion, which is exploring haunted places. Okay. Now, Rain and Geno do not See, claim that they are professional ghost hunters. In fact, they are a bit skeptical themselves, and they even invite their Mood. viewers to debunk any paranormal evidence Mood. that they find. When we go out, we don't always find the craziest stuff. I mean, let us know. I mean, let us know what you think. You know what I mean? Uh, by all means, if we can debunk. Bunk this, I would love to be able to, and if we can't, I mean, I'd love that even more. But this kind of spooky investigators, that's how you should always do it. Debunk it until, like, and keep doing that until there's no way to find an explanation anymore. And then you can start being kind of like maybe a slight believer. That's how I do shit. Like, that's, I, I'm so skeptic, but I also am slightly a believer over the years. Like, I became one over the years from just experiencing a lot, and a lot of it. I got to a point where it couldn't be explained anymore and that's just that's the best feeling ever because you actually feel like you discovered something that shouldn't be discovered you know i, I love that shit because i don't believe anything <laughs> i'm such a skeptic man there is one video in particular that skeptic. even the couple and their youtube viewers cannot explain first the couple captures some odd sounds in this abandoned farmhouse. This time, we ended up uh, capturing something else, something really weird. What? Animals. If you heard a squeak, I would say, uh, no, maybe. I heard a pain. Hello? Maybe animals. Not much else happens, but then. By accident, the couple captures this. Did you see it? Some dark humanoid shape seems to appear near the door. That looks and then so quickly weird. moves away and disappears into nothing. Why does it look so Rain and Geno Wait, try to Am I covering it? Wait. It's me it's me again, guys. It's me! I'm covering it! It's me! <laughs> and then quickly moves away it's and me. disappears into nothing. Look. Rain and Geno try to there. debunk the figure and even invite their audience to do the same. It looks now, weird. Of course, the uh, first thing that's running through my head is thing that now. No, it, look, it looks kind of weird, but yeah, it was. Uh... Oh, it could fit. The height could, could height looks good. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it could be me. Yeah, looks good. It's me. It's me, guys. Yeah, sleepwalking yet again. God damn it. And even invite their audience Debunked. to do the same. There we go. Now, of course, uh, the first thing that's running through my head is... Mm, that might be one of her shadows, but... 
And that's what's going through my head, and... but I don't know. You know, everybody else Hello, now is come? saying, that's not, that's not your shadow. That has its own movement to it. It looked and... weirdly, almost like it's put in there. Though. I move and it stays still. And then it moves and disappears. But there is just no rational explanation. So, what do you think? It looks so Check out this full video over on the YouTube channel, weird, um, Sinister RP. Know. Urban Exploration Gone Wrong. Urban Explorer Andy Persons heads. I don't know if I believe it. It looks, it looks weird. I don't know. I'm too skeptic for that shit. <laughs> out to Albany, New York Good to see the old it. Tobin's First Prize Center, which is a meatpacking facility that was built in 1924 and was later left completely abandoned. Okay, abandoned buildings Together are scary because you could find he crazy people in there. Massive old and people are factory, scary. And he discovers something truly unnerving. Uh oh. Because they might not be the only ones there. Uh oh. This is the fun part. So this is where things kind of got a little weird. We were coming down these staircases, and I shined my flashlight to the left, what and out of the corner of my eye, up? all I could see was someone in a black trench coat. What is this crackling noise? Is that, does he have his... Is it his jacket? Does he have the microphone on his jacket? The crackling makes me ins... Oh, drives me insane. Sorry. I am very sensitive to some noises, and this one is apparently one of them. I just found out. Holy. Quickly rush over through the door and oh, that hide. crackling noise. Oh, bad microphone placement. Yeah. Oh god, that's like, that's like the jacket on the microphone or something. In the corner. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, what was that? Wait, I didn't see. Yeah, that, that's a person. I mean, yeah, there's probably people living in there. The squatters, like, finding shelter in there, right? I shine my flashlight down the elevator shaft that was right next to me, and all of a sudden, we all started hearing a bunch of voices and just people that were inside of the walls. I mean, yes, it's people in there. I mean, that we makes just sense. decided to get out there pretty quickly and, and let them be. A man who seems yeah. to be wearing a dark trench coat quickly disappears out of sight. They shall let and them the group be. hears voices coming from the walls all around them. Spooked by the creepy event, they decide to just get out of there. Good decision. Now, whether what they caught is paranormal, I'm not sure. But as I've said before, sometimes real people are much more frightening. Anyway, That's a fact. you can watch the entire exploration of this creepy abandoned factory over fact. on the YouTube channel, Andy Persons. Through True. the looking glass. Le yeah, tr real people are scary. Scary. One night, TikTok user Apple DeCastro decides to weigh herself on a scale in her family home in the Philippines. She stands okay, that's already that's already a spooky situation. I get it. That's already scary. Weighing yourself? Oh yeah, I get it. That's scary. In front of a mirror, and what happens next First mistake, is truly yeah. bizarre. Yep, I'm so spooked too. That's so that is one of my well that's one of my biggest fears. That is one of my biggest fears, man. Bro. Bro, I'm so scared of mirrors doing stuff like that. I'm so scared of that. Apple's reflection in the mirror seems to move out of time with her body. Now, of course, this could just be a weird CCTV compression glitch. Yeah, yeah, that could but be. But her brother Joshua actually sees it happen with his own eyes. Oh, that's Another why he's so freaked out. Another camera angle records his reaction. Oh. 
That's why he's so freaked out. Mood. <laughs> this is like me. This is frozen, staring like. This is like me. And face. <laughs> he was like he he peeked. Joshua wanted to look away. He wanted to look away, and then he was like, "What? Wait a minute." <laughs> and he quickly goes to warn his sister. Together, they check the footage recorded by their Wait CCTV cameras and post their creepy experience to TikTok. That's crazy. So could this be so a glitch in the matrix? A haunted mirror? Or just a really, really strange camera glitch? I'm scared of mirrors, man. As always, I, am so scared I of leave them. it to you to decide. So freaky. No entry. As with freaky. most Japanese videos, I have no idea what the source is for this next creepy clip. That's a good The clip setup. shows two guys approaching an old school building that is under renovation and is allegedly haunted. Even oh, though there's no. tape at the entrance saying no entry, the two friends step inside anyway. Of what course they do. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. What is it? <laughs> Of course they still answer. <laughs> no, you cannot. Guys, you cannot capture ghosts with a 4K camera. That's forbidden. That's just forbidden. The universe forbids it. It's not it's not allowed. <笑>おい、入ってる。え、発じゃね、あいつたの。もう入ってたら入るでしょ。もう入ってください。でも。ノー。そんなハードワーク。おお。2階の2階の。この動画。おお。めっちゃ広い。最高。おお。I don't... Why are they so... Why is it so silent? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Why is it so silent? <laughs> was that was that a typical? Yeah, that's fake. It's fake. It's fake. It's a very. Yeah, that's fake. <laughs> A mysterious woman wearing a white dress silently approaches the two friends from the darkness. A woman with a white dress and black hair is just always... I feel like at this point it's always a fake. Honestly, that's just... So she seems to have no visible arms. The two guys run in... Because they're in there. They're in the... In the whatever this is. The sheet. Bed sheet. Fear and <laughs> scream for help. What happens next, we'll just never know. And whether the footage is real or not, that's it's up not. for you to decide. It's not. Either way, the clip is chilling. It's not. Night shift. This next spooky video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer Zoe from Perth, Australia. Zoe says that she's Australia. a registered nurse working the night shift at a nursing home. She says that there is one particular room in the nursing home that gives the entire staff the creeps. Uh -oh. The staff says that they feel watched while in the room and that the room often feels extremely cold for no reason. Uh -oh. Some have even witnessed chairs moving around oh by themselves. Oh no, not the chairs. One night, Zoe and the rest of the staff are gathered in the office when they notice something very strange on the CCTV. The 
lights in the room start to flicker and dim in a bizarre pattern. Yeah, it must be aliens. And it's then all right. some dark shape <laughs> seems to pass in front of the camera, not once, but twice. Now, could this be something paranormal? It's something. Or just a strange it's lighting something. malfunction? something. I don't know what it was, and but it's something. just what are those two dark shapes? Tell me what you think. I don't... The boy next door. But then Paranormal again... Paranormal investigators... K it's, it's Australia. It could be anything. It could be, like, it's, it's Australia. In Australia, it's it's a free fall, you know? It could be literally... Any what if it was a sock? Straight up, a sock or something. Like, it's Australia. I believe everything. <laughs> KNL from the YouTube channel KNL Ghost Hunters spent the night big at the historic spider. Red Lion Hotel in Colchester, England. Built way back in England. 1465, Brett it's no surprise it. that the hotel has a long history of tragic events and paranormal activity. Good morning. Just to give one example, several hundred years ago, a horrible fire ravaged the hotel and took and the it. lives of several young children. These days, it's said that the it was a sound and a music that kind of scared me for a second. I don't know why, because I thought it was the doorbell ringing or something. The spirit of a young boy that wanders the restaurant me. of the hotel. He is the often true, seen in the photographs true horror, by guests. A doorbell Most ringing. of all, the spirit of the young boy is often seen by children. In it. In it. K and L leave a static camera to record in the restaurant as they investigate the basement of the hotel. Later, when they yeah, check their footage, is very they spooky. are shocked by what they've caught. Britain? Yeah. A small head about the height of a young child can be seen peeking through the glass windows of one of the restaurant Where doors. Is? Paranormal investigators K and L believe that they might have captured the spirit of the young boy that guests claim to have seen over the years. But what do you think this small figure could be? No, so if it's if it's place like this, this is like they were alone in here and it's the middle of the night and it's like locked. I I believe m more things in a situation like that in in quotation marks. I don't believe it, but I I give it a fair out sense if it's like a locked location where they have the key and where they're locked in there alone. Because if you go urban exploring or if you go to a place where anyone can go, it's uh, where there could be animals and stuff like that. It's a lot harder. But if it if they uh, book a place. And they're alone there, then I, I do believe them a little bit more, I guess. You know? Does that make sense? Let me know. You can watch this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel K and L Ghost Hunters. Dead in the water. In another strange video shared to the internet without a source, someone can be seen taking off their shoes after having walked through a waterfall in Malaysia and discovering small clumps of leeches stuck to their feet. And if that isn't... <laughs> Don't do that! I hate that so much! I would never. I'm not Horrifying touching any enough, water. There's something else in this video Outside. that's very disturbing. through the water like that don't sniff guys those are leechy feet you don't want to sniff them they're wet too don't you dare sniff them i swear stop it don't you don't sniff the wet leech feet guys what the what the guys what is there i don't get it did you see it? No. Someone or something can be seen sitting on a rock inside the waterfall. That's probably a shadow or something. Like that's that's all like a, the rock has a hole there or some shit like that. And it's not someone sitting there, right? Whoever or whatever it is appears to be wearing a white dress and has long. I don't see it. Dark hair and dark arms. No, now, I don't without see a it. source, it's impossible to establish whether this footage is real, fake, a rock, or even yeah. explainable. It's a rock. But let me know your thoughts it's not a white down dress. in the comments. It's, it's a rock, huh? Thanks so much for watching my upload schedule. It's kind of weird these days. Don't so worry please about hit it. the subscribe button and yeah. the bell so you never miss.
It's a video. Never. Would never do that. I don't know. That was a rock. That was a rock. Yeah, the leeches were a lot scarier. I really don't like the leeches. Those leeches... Didn't like the leeches. We, we skip on those. Don't like it. I'm not touching any, like, open source of water like that. I'm, I'm way too afraid of that. I don't touch any lakes. I don't touch any rivers. I don't touch the ocean. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not made for that. And did you, uh, did, did the video ruin your sleep, guys? Did it ruin your sleep? No, the leeches did, yes. Okay, that's base. I get it.